In the previous lecture, we understood about what is a real-time application. We understood that a real-time application is time deterministic. That means its response time to events is always almost constant. You can always trust that application in terms of its timings in responding to events. But how to run the real-time application? You cannot take a real-time application and run it on general-purpose OS like uh, Windows or Linux because they will never help you to meet strict timing requirements. So what you need is a real-time operating system that is so customized to meet the real-time application's timing requirements. So a real-time operating system promises application uh, to meet their timing requirements. So what is a real-time OS? It's an OS, of course, specially designed to run applications with very precise timing and high degree of reliability. To be considered as real-time, an operating system must have a known maximum time for each of the critical operations that it performs. Uh, some of the operations may include handling of interrupts and internal system exception. Unlike general purpose OS, in RTOS, the interrupt latency is kept very minimal as possible. Okay, so we'll, we'll surely explore more about this later. Handling of uh, critical section code. In, in real-time operating system, you don't find huge critical section code segments where the interrupts of the system is turned off and scheduling unlike the general purpose os the scheduling mechanism in rtos is simple and always favors the high priority tasks so so we'll discuss more about all these points later in this course now let's see what are the important differences between a real-time operating system and a general purpose operating system the examples of GPOS are, you may already know this, all your desktop operating systems are for general purpose use case. The well-known operating systems like Linux, Windows, the Mac OS, the iOS and Android famously used for tablets and mobile phones are all fall into the category of GPOS. And some of the examples of real-time operating systems are the VxWorks real-time operating system. The VxWorks is basically from the company called Windriver, which is acquired by uh, Intel around uh, maybe 10 years ago. And it is widely used in the field of safety, security, IoT, etc. The VxWorks is a proprietary software and you need to have a license to use that in your applications. So this is one of the most famous uh, real-time operating system used for embedded applications. And the next one is QNX Neutrino by the company called QNX. This real-time operating system is majorly used in industrial uh, automation applications, medical and also in robotics you can get more info from their website over here okay and the next one is free RTOS. the free RTOS is from priatos.org this is also one of the famous real-time operating system among developers free RTOS comes with two flavors one is called open RTOS and another one is safe RTOS. or well, we'll discuss more about these flavors later in this course uh, we'll be using free RTOS in this course which is absolutely free to download and also it is royalty free the next one is integrity this is from Greenhill software majorly used for security and safety related applications so these are some of the most commonly used real-time operating systems and in this course our choice is of course the free RTOS. 
Strictly speaking, the mobile operating systems like Android and iOS may not fall into the category of pure general purpose OS. Okay, you can consider them in the category of embedded OS. So all the real time operating system I just discussed, okay, will fall into the category of embedded real time operating systems.